He's probably a college graduate. And I was like, boy, that kid's got a lot of time. That's the beauty of being a kid. You got nothing but time to practice dumb crap. Yeah. You don't have a job. You got nothing. So, yeah, Dragon Force is one of those bands, I think, that's like, there's a couple of old dudes in it, but everybody else has got to be super young and and uh, limber and, you know. But anyway, I'll have another pair of Dragon Force tickets for you tomorrow uh, about this time. If you're into them and want to see them. Of course, they covered the Titanic song uh, some years ago, too, right? Remember that? They did My Heart Will Go mm-hmm. On. It was a... <laughs> Is this it? That can't be it. it Yeah, that sounds like Nintendo version of it. This would kill this song for Pound Cake, probably. What type of devil worshiping music is this? I'm sorry? I said, what type of devil worshiping music is this? That's Celine Dion being covered. Being covered. Her song being covered. Her music being pooped on. That's what it is. Hmm. Pooped. Normally, <laughs> for me to poop on, usually uh, when somebody covers a song, it's it's out of love. It's out of respect it's for the trash. material. Trash. I mean, you might not like the version, but you don't appreciate what they try to do? No. Hmm. Keep it, keep classics the way they are. That's a ballad. Yeah, okay. Mother Nature got me back. Yeah, Mary's all wet. Last. I told you the top of the show we were going to get wet, you, and everybody laughed it. at me. Last, everybody laughed at me. We're talking about the storms the past two segments. I'm like, it wasn't raining that hard. And then Mother Nature said, oh, yeah, bitch, not that hard. Why don't you go walk to get your lunch in it? And I'm like, the second I stepped outside, it started downpouring. Where'd you run to? Beyond Juice Tree. <laughs> it's Would like basically learn? public square. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that far down? Yes. Why did you, you order a something bag? from that far down? Because it wasn't raining when I ordered it. No, but even if it wasn't raining, why would you go that far to get food? It's literally like a three or four minute walk each way. I can do it in a break. I've done it a hundred times in a break. Wow. But uh, yeah, it started. It started. But you didn't wish you gave away them hot dogs, dude. As soon as I was walking, I started laughing. I'm like running through the rain, laughing because I'm like, this is what I get for being nice. I gave a homeless person my lunch, and now I have to walk in a downpour to get my own lunch. No good deed goes unpunished, (laughs) right? And you know what? That dude you gave your hot dogs to, he's out there wet too, and now he's holding two wet hot dogs. He probably didn't need them. He's him probably in. put him in his bag, walking around. He's like, ha, ah, I scammed this lady out of her wieners. Trying to flip these hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, save these for later or try to try to get somebody else to buy them. Hey, do you like uh, hot dogs? There's no relish on them. What did you put on them? I thought this was America. That's right. I didn't put anything on them. I had the packets of ketchup and mustard Oh, you handed the guy two plain hot dogs. Well, but I handed him the ketchup and mustard, too. I gave him the packets that I had. And I was I'm like, sure. Yeah. I'm sure he'll sit down and and gingerly open the packets. I'm and, sure he will. And lovingly put the condiments on the hot dogs. He might squeeze the whole thing in his mouth. I don't. Mm. Maybe he only likes mustard. I don't know what. He yeah, does. maybe. Do the whole thing where you take a bite and then do a squeeze. Yeah. Hmm. Bite, squeeze, bite, squeeze. Yeah. All right. If you listen to us on iHeartRadio, if you do it from outside Ohio, tell me where. So I like to know where people are. Uh, Rob listens in New Orleans. Uh, Chuck is in Carrollton, Georgia. Nate listens in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, Johnny is our bureau chief in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And you can leave us messages there. We love Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. We love Puerto Rico. So gross. Puerto Rico. Is that dummy surrendered yet or no? I don't know. Yeah, all right. Alan, I might be on a raft paddling towards the boat, trying to get on it. I tried to get on the after the... Oh, I thought he meant he was, like, out flooded somewhere. Nope. He's oh, he's trying Saturday. to get on the, the Captain Fun. Oh. I might be on a raft paddling towards the boat, trying to get on it. I tried to get on the after the 100.7... You know I'm computer literate. I can't even text a show. I don't even know how to do that. The number's too short. Uh, I will have a... <laughs> I can't text it. He goes, you know I'm computer illiterate. How do I know that? What? I can't text you. The number's too short. <laughs> text a show at 5692387009919. Oh, oh, uh, I will have a collapsible fishing rod, and uh, I will try to see you on that boat. 
I may be just, pe- you know, roping off the bridge right down there on this turn. All right. Love you all. Mm, all right. Yeah. Down there on the stern. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, anybody will be out there in their dinghies trying to get on the boat, but maybe we'll have uh, maybe we'll have stowaways in steerage. Like, uh, I don't think the there's Titanic. technically steerage. On there the isn't. Boat like this. No, oh no. So. All right. Not when there's the, without cabins, you need cabins to have. Steerage. Well, I've never. We've never been on the Lady Caroline. I don't think they. It's I heard like it a, sleeps two hundred. Is that not true? Sleeps? Yes. Yeah, if it, if it crashes and goes on her, and we, we go to our final resting spot. Oh, boy. Our forever like home. Lake Gitchigumi, our forever <laughs> home. There it is. All right. Well, you'll find me in the forecastle, so hopefully won't have to put anybody in the brig. Um, but my understanding here on the Brandy Lady Caroline was that it was, uh, that yeah, that it slept 200. Hmm. Well, it might. So, I don't know. So, I haven't been on it either, so I'm just guessing it does. I've also cabins. been told that we do have to take turns uh, shoveling coal into the furnace. I go first. So, yo, you want to go first? I want to go first. Get it over with. Yeah. No, no. We're on a rotation. We'll each have to do it multiple times. I want to be on that. That is our commitment. Early part of the rotation to the customers, um, uh, giving of their time. Go out on a coal-powered boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I think that would be a lot of fun. I mean, now it would not be environmentally sensitive, of course. What's tricky about that is not only is it really uh, difficult work, you have to make sure you wipe your face off good so you don't get canceled for doing blackface. You don't don't want that. You don't want black lung. Yeah. Right. I saw a dude, just some video on Twitter, of a guy jumping into an oil pit. Yeah. And then they're trying to spray him off, and nothing is coming off at all like not even like flex of it and then the video so then they ends. had to start scraping them with the razor blades so that's probably what they will end up doing but mm-hmm. i don't know if that's a new video or old video it looked like it was russia oh it's yeah. not, it's like not from like the 1920s no it's not a video from the 1920s <laughs> no it's not all right well at least that russian dude didn't get pushed out of a window this time they just blew up his plane I mean, that feels like it's, for people who have been paying attention to that, the guy that was heading that mercenary group there in Russia who found himself on the wrong side of Putin, mm-hmm. uh, they just end up blowing up the plane. And Putin's like, what? I don't know what happened. Usually these guys fall out of windows uh, if they end up uh, on the wrong side of Vladimir Putin. But this guy just went up in a plane. Trouble is with that is they kill everybody on board. So, like, the stewardess. You know, I pictured it like maybe these were just a bunch of dudes in in camo on a cargo plane or something. But now it was like a regular plane, and there were like a dozen people on it, including like some 22-year-old Russian girl who was working as a stewardess. They're like, eh, collateral damage, whatever. Want to get rid of that guy? Got rid of everybody. Al, what if that guy traded those hot dogs for heroin? That's a, that's that's a, a good a, trade. That's a good that's win a on your part. great trade. And what if, you know? I mean, what if? That's okay. I don't tell people what to do. It's up to them. Mary was nice enough to give the guy the hot dogs and everything else. They had to cut the bash on the bay short, too. Yeah, they Pitbull had to get off stage. Yeah, they got off stage early. They postponed today's uh, Luke Bryan part. Yeah. Like, it sucks. I know people that were on the ferry over there, and they're like, hey, we got to postpone today. They're like, oh, cool. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all the way out here on Putin Bay. Yeah, postponed. Luke Bryan, I'll tell you what, boy, you will never have a better day than when um, a Luke Bryan show is postponed. Hey. Because that means it's going to be longer. You get more time before it starts, and that's the best part, really. Is the time before it starts that anticipation? Oh my or god! Just it's not having to. No, all of it. Yeah. It's showbiz. The show was supposed to start right about now, mm-hmm. but it's going to start later than now. Yeah, what if it rains? What, what are his songs, Mary? Luke Bryan. Yeah. Country girls shake it for me. That's a, oh, I know that song. Know that. Oh, that's I'm trying him? to think of ones that you guys would know. That's like well, a I know big, that song. Yeah, that was a, a huge big hit, one. Yeah. Um. Sun, sun, sunburn, sunset, repeat. God damn, what's the name of the song? Country girl, shake it for me. Play it again. That's like a slower one. That one's good. 
a couple of summers you ago. You don't have to qualify whether they're good or not. They're, none of them the are good. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't I mean, like any of them. Sorry. This is just about <laughs> just, if we recognize I'm just trying them. to know what yeah. songs it. His yeah. one that's out right now is it goes, but I got a beer in my hand and I got to raise does. up high. Of course it does. It, oh, yes. no. Nah, um, yeah. That's my kind All of night. Oh, my That's my kind of night was another really big one. <laughs> Knocking. All night jump jump. Uh. Yeah. Is he the uh. is he the honky tonk but donk donk guy? No. Oh, who is the honky tonk? Because I always mix that up. Uh, that guy's old. I think. That's yeah. Toby Keith. No, that's like Alan Jackson or something. No, no it? it's not Alan Jackson. Honky tonk but donk donk. Trace, Trace Atkins. Atkins. Mm-hmm. No, I mean uh, Luke Bryan has a ton of hits. Trace Adkins, man, has an amazing like. I, don't I care love about Trace. The, Adkins. I don't care about the singing, but his speaking voice is awesome. He's real growly. Gravelly. Yes. Turn it up some. Turn it up some. He's got it. Isn't he the die like a truck? Isn't he the guy that gets that does those commercials? I pay. What was it? Um, like a rock? No, that's Bob Seger. I was that's like, Robert you know? Seger Esquire. Yeah. He has love him. Ladies oh, Bobby, Love yes. Country Boys was a real big one for him. You're gonna miss this as a slower one. You're still talking about Luke Bryan? I'm talking about Trace Adkins now. Oh. I can go back to Luke Bryan if you no, like. No, it's okay. It's all right. The kick the dust up. That's Luke Bryan. Dust the dust up. Well, I just saw, I was at the grocery store, and he's on the cover of, like, People Magazine or something. They're talking about how proud he is of his. Uh, People his, Magazine cover? No, how oh. proud he is that he's uh, had his climb in country music. Remember, Miley said it's all about the climb. Mm-hmm. And uh, this guy. he But he's on one of those shows, right? He's on, he's on American Idol now. American Idol. There you go. But he started to get really big in, like, the early 2010s. Right. 2011 might have been his first album, or that's when he was really coming out on. uh, Because I guess every one of those shows now, they have to have like some corn pone on there, right? Like he's on American Idol, uh, Gwen Stefani's husband's on the other show. The so they gotta, they gotta have some hill rut. Yeah, like make it look well, like. Well, if it's a singing competition, there's gonna be people who are country singers. So right. They want yeah, but that way. wasn't the formula. For the first American Idol was like pop music. It was all pop. It was like a. That's why it was a big deal when they had a guy singing rock. Oh, I I don't know that the rock artist is going to get anything. It's like, yeah, I I think they'll probably. That's how you stand out. Or Carrie Underwood. I think she was the first country artist. She's the biggest by for sure. She's a bigot. Biggest. Oh, Oh, well, two things can be true. Uh, What about Kelly Pickler? What happened to her? She didn't win. What did happen to her? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm more fascinated by the people who came in like second, third. Where's Sanjaya? I can't wear my Sanjaya shirt out anymore because people go, who the hell's that? But you kept him in the running for a long time back in the day. I'm the dummy standing there trying to sell autographed Taylor Hicks merchandise. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I can't move it at all. I'm like, what? I'm OG Ruben Stuttered. He like won. Ruben. He won. But, but what's he doing Aiken now? Nothing. Was the number two on that season, and he he had a nice little summer there. Yeah, he, he had, had a, a good, good time. He and... had a good few years. Mm-hmm. I feel like he, after the show, Clay Aiken had a, like, more, I don't know if he made more money, but he seemed to be in the public eye more than Ruben Stuttered. Alan, I believe that Luke Bryan is a closeted gay Oh, God, Ask so. Pound Cake what he thinks. Country boy, so. take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> now I wonder what you hope that he is, Pound Cake. Oh yeah, he's gorgeous. Like I really? don't, I don't give a crap about. I don't think he can sing. I think his music is super corny. But his, his gorgeous, you're just talking just purely how he looks. Purely looks. I mean, yeah. his hair. Uh, like he he is the country man fantasy like y'all pull up to my farm sure you know we got a spare bedroom for you and you know he he brings you coffee in the morning and you know he just works outside with his shirt off and not trying to be hot he just is but yeah I don't care give a crap about his music he has great teeth um he looks like he smells nice mm-hmm. um and a cute butt from what I can see he has a he really wears those tight jeans super tight jeans yeah. that because I can tell he has a wife because his wife is probably like she's both. super cute too she all right. Let me guess. You're, she's she's uh, super blonde. Yes. Yeah. Luke Bryan's got these. They they would play them on uh, your mom's house podcast where he would go hunting and he'd get a kill and he just his excitement was so genuine. Yeah. It's like it like, but he like his voice would get real high. He's like, I got him. I got him. 
Boy, those country guys, their wives all look the same. They do. They, they look love identical. those big jugs, bleach blonde. Well, that's like when you think At of least like they, a Texas th- wife, you know, that's what they look like. I guess so. But there's a lot of girls in Texas that don't look like or that. Or a southern mm-hmm. wife. Big blonde hair. Right, but they're, but they're trying to fit it. There's nothing. They're like the personification yeah. of pumpkin spice lattes and Uggs. There's nothing country people like more than fitting into an exact box. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have the exact same clothes and opinions and uh, looks as all my friends. So so I I was thinking at first they were just – I didn't realize they were postponing the show like later in the year. Oh, to put in bay today. Well, they said put in bay yeah, said it's they got all flooded. Yeah, yeah, they said they got unprecedented storm damage. Oh, that's at the so venue, so much money. Like there's, losing. I mean the. There's not many huge indoor venues on Putin Bay, though. Like, there's none. <laughs> that's what yeah. I'm saying. So well, right. That, that's why they're doing this on the tarmac. Yeah. But this, the season for that is coming to a close. You got what? A month, maybe two. End of October. You can't really be outside after that. I was going to say Halloween weekends. They they can do something like that. On I don't Bay. know. Bill Burr's doing an outdoor show in October. Is it here in Canton at Tom Benson Stadium? That's an outdoor gig. Yeah. Wow. It can snow in October. <laughs> I know. I don't know why they. <laughs> well, then that. he'll they'll postpone yeah. his show too. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at Luke Bryan without a hat, his head is super big. So that's why he, these guys all wear hats. Yeah. If you, they're I, either bald or they have. Uh, well, I, I guess you have to wear the hat. Though. He he has good hair, so I understand why he doesn't want to wear it. But he he just has a huge head. He has a dome. But yeah, if he keeps the hat on and wears it front or back with a baseball tee, right up my alley. Yeah. yeah, Pitbull's the big winner of this because he gets paid either way. Yeah, so he he's like, technically oh, performs. Two yeah. songs in, darn it. Mm, sorry. The storm hit Putin Bay just before 10 o'clock. Pitbull and L. King. Pitbull cut his show short. It's like, are y'all yelling timber? <laughs> Can I leave now? That's Kesha, dummy. That was and Pitbull. Too, bitch. But it, wow. He wasn't the one who said it. <laughs> wow. It was Kesha, bitch. Wow. It's his song. It is not his song. It's Kesha's song. It is... Kesha's song, Feet Pitbull. Exactly. I'm sorry, it's Pitbull Feet Kesha. Oh, Feet Pants. Oh, no. Pound Cake is correct. Is Pound Cake right? All right. Pound Cake is I'll right. I'll take the bitch on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you think he doesn't play that? Kahee, dollar sign, ha, and Pitbull. I was going to say, you think he doesn't play that at his concerts? Like, I don't know what he plays, Cody. Most of Pitbull's songs are featuring someone else because he can't. The only th- well, that's why it's got to be weird if, when you have when all these songs are featuring other people and then you go out on tour and do them without those people. You just play Maybe the he only song. does half. It, it's, it's, also like, it's almost like you're covering your own songs when, well, you're going, when you're out there live. I saw Post Malone for Brian's birthday last September, and he did that Ozzy Osbourne song, and they just played Ozzy's part over the speakers. So I'm wondering if that's what Pitbull does. He just has the, whatever the feature is, play over the speakers. Hmm. Or or has, like, backup singers or something just do that part. Hmm. Maybe you're, maybe you get, (laughs) maybe you're lucky enough to get hologram Kesha. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, I got a break. Where's the time go? Hey, I'm gonna have uh, Nick Offerman tickets for you. Wanna go see Nick Offerman? He's doing, like, a Night with Nick Offerman type thing, a little spoken word. You know, a little get-to-know-you type situation. It's September 29th at Playhouse Square, Connor Palace Theater. So if you dig Nick Offerman, I will hand those off coming back. It's the Ellen Park Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app or whatever smart device you have. Just tell me to play the Alan Car-